enemies for posting on comment pages. If you read the uh, if you read all the propaganda from Google, you would know that it is known that comment pages often have a do follow tag, which diminishes the link's ability to influence uh, target page ranking. So for the purpose of this video, let's just assume we are doing it only for the raw click traffic that the link may bring in the future. So we, we want to start off by doing a Google search with the uh, advanced search operators. And if you aren't familiar with advanced search operators, uh, I, I can show you exactly the ones to use in this video tutorial, but you might want to do a search for Google search operators, read all, read up about them, so you understand how you can um, see really refined results with the proper use of search operators. Okay, so to find a relevant website where you can get links from, you start by identifying the keyword you are targeting. In this case, we are just going to use the keyword phrase SEO teacher because that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to copy paste here. Uh, but you can see I started the search query with SEO teacher and I used the quotes because I wanted to designate the, uh, the exact phrase, um, a search phrase here. So the quotes say, hey, show me results where this phrase is on the page or ha having to do with this site somewhere. Um, you can actually specify um, it to be in, in the title, in the, in the content, or, or other using the search operator. But for now, I'm just going to say SEO teacher, the phrase is somewhere on the page, well, having to do with the page and that exact phrase, okay? So, now that we have that, what do we want to use as a search operator? Like I said, you can use search operator for this part too. Let's just keep that as that and use search operator for the next part, which is where do we, what else do we want to see? Well, we're, gonna, we're looking for places where we can comment and drop our link in there. Um, so, we want to say, in title, and then we want to use the little uh, semicolon, and then you want to say add comment. Now I can't spell, it's just that my uh, I dropped water on my keyboard, so my key doesn't work at the moment. So I'm just going to copy paste that there. Okay, so that's our search query. SEO teacher in quotes. That's targeting basically sites with SEO teacher somewhere having to do with the page. So we could just do a search for that and see what happens and we see all the SEO teachers. Um, oh, there's my site. Go ahead and click on that if you do the same search. But um, okay, so you want to do SEO teacher and but you want to refine these results and you want to only play half where there's comments, right? Or where you can add comments. So go ahead and put that part into in title, add comment, you know, and hit enter to finalize the query. And wow, uh, you can see there's only two results here. go ahead and click through these uh, results and see this is master.com which isn't going to be a place where you can comment um, but however this one might be site looks like it's taking forever um, so 
let's just be impatient and click it back to you and let's just refine our results a little bit more because you know obviously SEO teacher is only two results um, there isn't a whole lot of I mean there there are probably some results being omitted and you could probably go we could look at those if you wanted to but um, let's just let's just say for the for sake for heck's sake let's just refine this to um, instruct can't put the C in there because my result my, my keyboard's not working but so we just put the nose for keyboard automatically fix it for you okay so there we go and now you can see all the result pages there's like there's at least 40 or almost 50 different results for that you know for that exact query so you can go through these results one by one and find a place find places to put your uh, your link so let's go ahead and click on here site loads a little bit faster than the last one okay so this is a directory you can tell right away because there's multiple sites and they have a PR thing here and you can see the page rank meter here um, it's pretty easy to see this is a directory site you could get your link in here by going to submit your site page And this is where you would uh, just go ahead and put in your email, um, you put in a category, whatever it may be. Let's just go ahead and um, well, let's go ahead and do one just for the sake of the demonstration purposes. Computers, which you can put in a bunch of different categories, and we so we have to think through which category we really want to target the the most here. In this case, I would say web directory. Let's just go down here to, uh, yeah, let's not do web directory. Let's go back up to computers. And let's do, Let's go ahead and just go ahead and do a search engine directory down here, okay? So we're going to no, because that's that's talking about actual search engine. We don't want the search engine. Let's go to computers. Let's just do marketing and advertising. Okay, so in the title here, we want to just put in something generic, like uh, SEO teacher. SEO teacher. Okay, we want for the URL, we would want to get something that uh, that we want. We'd want to get the site that we're trying to rank for. So. SEO PPC pros. So you want to put the full website address here. And as far as description is concerned, you would want to put a good description. Because you got to realize this is going to be the description for um, for the link, not in the meta, but actually for the web directory to keep track of. So you want to say um, SEO um, Looking to learn SEO, 
and I'm going to use a K for the C for Caffeine. Come to the SELPPCPros.com to find teachers that can show you the basics through more technical it's kind of hard to spell without your uh, when your C's not working you're doing this about every sentence <laughs> cool um, more technical optimization actually it's not only my C but it's my F as well so it's actually F for that reason there isn't a uh, okay so there we go that's that's pretty good uh, pretty good first start right there and okay so we're gonna go ahead and put uh, SEO teacher in the keywords we're gonna put SEO teacher um, we're going to put SEO coach we'll put this spell check for us well not exactly but we're getting close there so we can just grab this little A over here SEO coach, SEO instructor, SEO tutorial. That's good for now. Okay, and we're not going to put the Facebook and Twitter. Actually, you know, why not? Let's put Robert SEO for that. Let's put for Facebook. Let's put um, the C got blank. So I'm gonna go back and do that for the call to action. So we're gonna do the dev SEO PPC pros. Let's make sure that's right. I think that's right. Okay. Um, and you know, to us, to us, um, to us, I'm gonna put in the captcha here. That's this little code right here. Let's make sure that we're not a spam bot. Family human. Okay, and there we go. Everything's filled out with our our actual human. So let's just use my one of my. Let's use one of my uh, emails here. So let's use Tony River three at gmail dot com. Now don't send me an email on that one though because I use that for all these spam ones. So of spam I don't accept that email so that's just what it is um, but there it is okay so there you go you wanted to take some nip nap there you go it should be submitted and it says uh, this is a submission to start with SEO teacher will be reviewed within five business days feel free to submit another site if uh, it's any good for your website Okay, so I'm going to go back now because that was just one example of the price we're creating. As you can see, we have 40 pages there to, um, and you can just read through the files here so you know how to actually go through each one of them. This one's just how to add your URL. Okay, so that guy clicked on it. Well, you know, that's pretty okay. I mean, it's not a price we can tell me exactly. It's uh, another person trying to teach you how to do uh, Google something for you. So what we really want to do is we want to find uh, places to comment pages. We really want to find comment pages. So we could actually go refine our search a little bit more. Or we could just go keep on clicking down the link and if, uh, if one of these searches will eventually have a place where you can um, just submit your comment. Here's another another directory site you can submit to a site again. This is this is a link directory. Again, just like the one we just did before. So we're not going to do that right now because we already know how to do that. So we're going to try to find Swiss blogs is another directory. Let's see. Let's see. 
another directory. Luckily, we have the uh, the, the, the the links we've been to are purple, so we know that that one's about to go to again. Okay, so that is enough directories. So it looks like most of these here are directories. The directory. Directory. No, that one's not available. Another directory. Another directory. Okay, so we're getting a lot of directories here. We might want to change up a little bit and let's just in this case, let's just change this to Submit comment. Search. There we go. Finally, we find one. Okay, so here is a page where you could uh, submit your comment. Um, but you know, there's no place on here for your URL. So if you submit your comment, you're not going to actually be able to put your website. You see, there's only one place in the comment box. So let's go ahead and just switch this up a little bit here. And I think the problem we're having here is SEO instructor is there's too many SEO people trying to find links so you're only going to find stuff that have comments disabled or that aren't there. So let's do HTML5 HTML5 tutorial, okay? That one for instance will have plenty. There we go. This is the kind of page you want to, you're looking for here. It's it looks like maybe it's a WordPress or a Joomla or maybe Drupal. Um, just a content management system, and that what that means to not to confuse you, but what that means is they're going to have a pretty pretty standard type comment section, which is down here. Um, you know, and normally you would want to. How be able to see the page rank, and since we can't see that, let's just get that real quick. So, page rank extensions. Okay, um, we're using Chrome, so we want this is we want to just get a quick page rank extension, and we want to just go to the the Chrome Web Store and click Add to Chrome, and it will automatically install the uh, page rank. And now, as you can see up there in the left corner, there it is little bar right here okay so we can close that now that we have a page set um, page rank checker we can go ahead and refresh this page and now we can see that it's a page rank 2 here um, which you know that's again because it's gonna have the no comment we're gonna have the no comment attributes in the code it's not gonna be as valuable as a normal PR2 link but nonetheless it'll be valuable for just just con just just having as a source of traffic especially if you choose your sites really really carefully and find you know places where the topics are relevant and in the future you'll really be able to find some you know in the future you'll really be able to get some good traffic from a, a page that has a lot of views okay where it's not just now but it's the next 5 10 15 years or however long the sites are in existence and However long that people are going to be searching for for searching for that topic, for the relevant topic. Okay, so here we want to put name. Um, this is going to be your anchor text. Um, I won't go into what anchor text is. Just this is going to be 
um, a keyword, a single, well, you can put your name, first of all, that's a lot of people do that, but I like to put something a little, a little different. I like to put something that, that will help Google understand what my site is. Not necessarily Google because of the nofollow attribute again, but you know, the other search engine tool also index links like, like um, Bing, Ask, and um, you know, some of the other search engines to actually look at the anchor text and try to decide what a site's about. So name, I'll call myself teacher. Okay, and my email, again, I'm going to put Tony River 6 at gmail.com. For my website, http www.seoppcpros.com. Okay, so now this is the trick right here. This is one trick here. You want to write something that's not going to get deleted right away. You don't want to say nice, nice post. I mean, you sometimes can get away with that, but you know, you probably don't want to do that a lot. So, um, because your comments won't be approved. So you can actually you know briefly look over the briefly look over the article and think about something that's been intuitive to say and you can you can see right here this page is there isn't much here this is kind of a spam page to begin with um how it's got a page rank of 2 I'm not sure but you know it's, it does so um or somewhere on the site it's popular so you know you know so it, so you want to just go ahead and read article at a glimpse you know don't take a whole lot of time just just check it out um, I usually pretty much go by the title of the of the article best sites to submit your, your tutorials articles and community news I could just say okay well you know what seen best sites but I don't see any sites here so I could say hey I don't see the best best sites anywhere are they coming soon you know you want to engage a little bit but you know to uh, piss anybody off so let's just put a smiley face to make it a little bit lighter <coughs> there you go here's a basic comment and you go ahead and submit your comment. Okay, so now you can see our link. Here we go. There it is. It says teacher. And it says my comment is a awaiting approval. And you can see my comment there. Hey, I don't see the best sites anywhere. Are they coming soon? Smiley face. And there's the actual link. See if you could do a hover with your little mouse you can see down there in the left hand corner right here it's it appears that when anytime you hover over a link it shows you where the link is going as you can see but so if you hover over this you can see hey there is a link back to my site and you can actually copy it and you can go to with Chrome at least if you use Google Chrome you can go inspect element and it'll actually show you whether it's a no follow link um, and see you see there's a no, it's no follow. once in a while you'll get lucky and it'll be a it will, the, the site won't have a no fucking no follow attribute, but for now it it, it does. So we're just going to you know skip this link just purely for the teacher click value and the less sophisticated uh, search engine crawlers. Nonetheless, there's our link. Once it's approved, it'll go back to our our page that we're trying to uh, build traffic for and build ranking and easy as that that's how to get free easy links from